imagine. <laughs> <laughs> I I immediately was gonna jump into this and I just saw you look at me like, oh this is gonna be good. <laughs> so imagine like a musical, but it's about everybody poops, the book. I'd see it. <laughs> Welcome back to the Gemini Archives, everyone. Welcome back, everyone. <laughs> oh lord. Could you lord. imagine that musical though? Uh, no. I like would they actually poop on stage? Ah, oh, man, that would be awesome because it would be so like it would be like some Gigi Allen shit. Yeah, it would smell in there. Ew. I don't think it would be meant for kids though, which is funny because it's a kids book. I know. <clears throat> the adult version of Everybody Poops. Well, the adult version of Everybody Poops is just scat porn, right? I mean, I guess so. <laughs> Have you ever... It's disgusting. Yeah, I've way. seen it before. Oh against my, my will. Me too. I'm like, ugh. It's horrible. Some I forgot who it was, like, years ago sent one to me. And it was a nun who was, like, shitting. And she was talking about being reborn through shit. I'm like, <laughs> what the fuck is this? <laughs> if people you can are, find that, you'll know what I'm talking... It's in German. People are fucked up, man. Yeah, it's a German porn it's disgusting oh well th that's fine yeah <laughs> they, <laughs> they they do stuff like that <laughs> oh it's a we get a pass because it's the germans yep oh god anyway so if anybody was wondering how this episode's gonna go it's been how it's been like two minutes and all we've done is talk about shit that's yeah. pretty much where it's headed <sighs> We're just going to talk about shit and shit storms today. <laughs> this has been a stressful week. Oh my and god, just, this week. This week was awful. I think I've lost like 10 years off my life because of how little sleep I got. I know. From everything I had to do this week. Well, because Monday we had to get a new roof, Ugh. which mercifully only took one day and didn't take two like they planned. Well, they, I, we didn't know they were going to show up with like 10 people. Yeah. And it literally sounded... I felt... What did I say to you? I'm like, now I know how a whack-a-mole feels. Yeah. No matter where I was, I was like, boom, 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 like all around me. Yeah. I'm like, what the fuck? Like I'm dodging just noise. It started right at 7.20 in the morning. Oh, it woke me out of a sound sleep. <laughs> yes. I thought the earth was ending. I was already awakened downstairs and Megan was still asleep. And then two minutes later after they started, I heard her come down. She's like, oh my God. Yeah. It was like, if anyone's ever seen Rose Red... I'm probably, like, the only person in the world that, like, really loves it. Mm -hmm. There's a scene in there where... Um, I love it. Well, obviously. <laughs> um, uh, there's a scene in there where the the autistic girl makes, like, stones fall from the sky and destroy someone's house. I'm like, that's what it sounded like. Like, there were stones falling on the house. And mm -hmm. I hate it. I'm so... I don't know if anyone else is like this, but I'm so sensitive to, like loud noises like that like banging noises yeah me too like i don't like construct like construction noises in general just are really like anxiety inducing to me yeah so that was my worst fucking nightmare we just got up and went to the mall we were like fuck we it. did and i hate going to the mall but i'm like at least it's the fuck away from this place i know my poor cats i know they were like well picasso was fine she was kind of just in and out or whatever frost hid completely until it was time for him to eat yeah then he was frantic and hungry yeah <laughs> so, and he was just like he would take a bite then look take a bite i'm like it's fine and no they were literally you. almost done too and he's like still like panicked and poor like, thing oh. they're fine like it's very jarring for pets to hear that kind of noise but he's they're totally fine yeah he's fine now now he's they've been through worse especially picasso picasso's seen some shit i know picasso's like it's like, like she went to vietnam dude like i yeah. don't know what the <laughs> fuck she was like yeah it's like she's been to prison for 25 years like she's a well-seasoned criminal <laughs> yeah. yeah and then we brought her into the house around frost who's like been pampered his whole life practically practically and <laughs> The dynamic is so funny. Mm -hmm. Like, she's just like some hood ass bitch, and he's just like, <laughs> she is. he's just like passive and out of the way. Oh, I love her cap. I do too. Anyway, so, so that happened. Now there's a smell lingering only upstairs in our rooms <sighs> that is driving me crazy. Megan's so tired of me talking about it, so I'm not going to. <sighs> well, well, there's nothing we could really do about it. And that's the other thing, too. I'm not as bothered by a lot of smells. Because I just, it's from years of just working around corpses. Yeah. It'll just make you impervious to shit like that. Yeah. But, you are not as bothered mm -hmm. as I am. 
No. I mean, it's annoying, but I'm not, like, dying. Mm-hmm. I'm, like, I'm, like, sick from it. I'm so tired. But, I so, I had to talk to my dad, and there's, like, a hole in the insulation in the attic or something that's probably making it worse, so he's gonna fix it literally after we finish this podcast. So, yeah. hopefully that helps, because it's only during the day, too, which is good. It's not, like, 24-7. I know, because if so. I had to sleep in this, I probably would be pissed, too. Yeah. It's only when it's sunny and hot and, like, on the roof. It must be just, like, the shingle settling or something. Or I whatever they laid know. down before they put the shingles on. I don't know how roofs work. Yeah, don't they put down some me. rubber, like, it smells like rubber. Like, some rubber, like, base, and then they put the shingles on over it. So, I think that's what it is. It's gross. Yeah. Anyway, so I'm going to be living with that probably for the next <laughs> two weeks. So, yeah, it's going to be great. Mm-hmm. <sighs> and then for three days. Oh, yeah. Here's what we really want to talk about, though. From Wednesday to literally yesterday, we have been trying. Okay. They announced on, I think it was Tuesday, mm-hmm. that Mr. Bungle is playing a show in Brooklyn. Well, now two shows. They added another one. Brooklyn is like a couple hours away from us. So So Mr. Bungle is coming to Brooklyn. Mm -hmm. But it's not really Mr. Bungle. It's Mike Patton, Scott Ian, and Dave Lombardo. Yeah. So it's not Trey and Trevor Dunn, which is heartbreaking for me. Yeah. Because I love both of them. I know. (laughs) And I would have given... I would have sold my soul to see anything off of any of those three albums. I know. <clears throat> but what they're doing instead is they're going to be playing... They put out, like, a an album before Bungle was really, like, Bungle. You know right. what I mean? Before they, you know, the, the horns and everything. Um, called The Raging Wrath of the Easter Bunny, which is just an excellent fucking title. Yes. You know? <clears throat> and sorry, I'm all fucking... Ugh. Megan ate peanut butter before we started. I ate this. peanut butter and it's making my voice all fucked up. <laughs> um, that's why we usually have tea, but we don't. Today. I know. I need to. I need to make some maybe during the break. Yeah. <laughs> um. So they're gonna play that because it's like a grind album, grind like metal album. Call it whatever you will. Yeah. Um. In its entirety, and I guess they're just gonna be doing covers of like other like metal songs. So it's a metal show. So they got metal musicians to play it, but it's under Mr. Bungle's name, which I'm kind of annoyed about. I'm like, I wish they would have just like, yeah, form like a new thing and then just played metal song or just done it under like Dead Cross or something. Yeah. You know, and then just played the whole album. It would have been. Yeah, because people see Mr. Bungle and lose their minds. Yeah, I saw Mr. There, Bungle and I'm like, I'm going to be fucking dancing. There's people from Europe trying to get tickets to these shows. I literally saw today somebody's flying in from the UK to the San... I think it's a San Francisco show because yeah. they're playing three places. San Francisco, LA, and then Brooklyn. Mm-hmm. So, so <clears throat> all right. Well, that explains why it was so hard to literally get tickets. Literally, everybody in the world was trying to get these tickets. <laughs> yes. So, okay, so there was two pre-sales, and then there was the actual public sale on Friday. So, Wednesday, they did the American Express sale, which, because they went through, um, I think, I guess it's like one of their partners or whatever. Yeah. And, basically, if you have an American Express card, like we do, you can get early access and get right in. And... And it works for Ticketmaster, too, just in case yeah. anyone doesn't know. I think it's Ticketmaster's partner. Yeah, because so. that's how I got tickets to Game Grumps Live, was um, through American Express. Yeah, and we got VIP tickets. Yeah, <laughs> I got them a day early, so I was able to get VIP, because we weren't planning on it. Yeah. So, um, highly invest, highly invest, highly suggest investing in American Express, because <laughs> Try saying awesome. that three times fast. Ugh, I know. But, so... We were like, okay, we'll try Wednesday and see. Because then I told my friends, I'm like, hey, if we can, like, we'll get you some, blah, blah, blah. We'll just get them. We were willing to, like, put down hundreds of dollars for tickets. Yeah, like, I was about to drop some serious cash Yeah, just to get tickets for people and just pay them back or have them pay us back. Yeah. So Wednesday, I'm up. It starts at 10 a.m. Because Mm -hmm. they can never do it at a reasonable hour. I'm up at 10 a.m. I don't sleep, so I'm fucking dragging ass. I get in, and it's like a waiting room you have to mm-hmm. sit in. And and I had to sit with you, too, just in case. Yeah, so we had, like, four devices open, all ready to go. Mm-hmm. 
get in the waiting room, you know, counting down, counting down. And then I finally get in as soon as the page refreshes sold out in not even an exaggeration. We literally hit, you know, buy tickets all sold out in like three seconds. Yep. And we're like, what the fuck? It was, oh, sorry. Was that me? <laughs> yeah, it's okay. It was horrible. I'm like, but then I, I wasn't too pissed yet because I'm like, okay, they probably only had like a limited amount. Yeah. You know what I mean? For because the for the American pre-sales, Express. probably like only like a hundred or something, you know? Mm-hmm. All gone. And there was, a, we saw like in the event page on Facebook, there were a few people who actually got through and got some. Yeah. But not like literally like five. Mm-hmm. That at least said something, you know? Yeah. And all the rest went to the fucking scam bots. Just in case anyone listening doesn't understand how scamming works for tickets, <clears throat> these fucking assholes <coughs> are like... I actually don't really understand how scam bots work either. <laughs> but it's, I love how you started that off like you were going to just drop some serious knowledge and you're like, I don't really understand how this well, works. I mean, I don't understand how they get in so quickly, but basically they have like systems in place to just get multiple amounts of tickets to really big concerts all the time. And it should be illegal. Yeah. They swoop up all these tickets and then they put them on StubHub and like all these different places in double or triple the price. My mom's going to see Dolly Parton in October and they had to spend 500 fucking dollars on tickets because of scalpers. That is fucking... That's like when we went and saw Faith No More. Again, Mike Patton. We had to spend like how much? Like almost like like 400 bucks each or something. It's ridiculous. Can you turn that fan on and just blow it over here? Because I'm so warm already. (laughs) Sorry. We'll put in Bob Ross music. Move it. Hold on, it's stuck on something. Are you feeling it, Mr. Crab? Thank you. Now I'm cold. So much better. I'm dying. I'm cold. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I'm. Can, can we take a second? Can I go get something to put Just over me? Just take my hoodie. Okay. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I'm cold, Lauren. Which one is this? Wednesday 13th. Oh. I wear it all the time. Speaking of which, that's foreshadowing the song I'm going to put in later. Yeah. <laughs> um, um, anyway. Any- okay, sorry Now I that. feel better now that I'm toasty warm. Okay, and the Bob Ross music. Okay. So. Anyway. Um, so all these scalpers come in, swoop up all the American Express pre-sale tickets. Which is fucking bullshit. Yeah. And the band is aware of what's happening. Well, at least Mike Patton, mm-hmm. you know, is aware of what's happening. He's like, okay. Tomorrow, there's going to be... What do they call it? It um, was the artist pre-sale? Yeah, the artist pre-sale. I if think. you enter in this code, when you go to get your tickets, it'll hopefully stop a lot of the scammer bot people or whatever. So yeah. we're like, cool. Let's just wait until tomorrow. So we're like... Yeah. So we kept refreshing and refreshing for like an hour. Yeah. Just making sure. And we literally could not get through that oh, day. We were so pissed. So then, this is Thursday... Now, it's the next day. And same thing. We have every device that possible set up, ready to get tickets. I grabbed crystals. I was like, <laughs> I'm ready. We were praying. I lay- I have a, Lauren Godfrey, a Mike Patton, like, prayer candle. Like, somebody photoshopped yeah. his face over Jesus. And I literally lit the prayer candle. I was praying to every god and every religion. I'm like, please, just let us get these tickets. I know. So, what ended up happening was... Lauren got through. Uh, by literally 30 seconds before they were officially on sale, I somehow got through and was able to get two tickets because that was the max. Yeah. The day before, oh, that's what I forgot to say. The day before, I got through, put in four tickets, and then as soon as I went to go hit get tickets, sold out. That's what happened. Oh, which is so infuriating. So I got through again. I could only get two tickets. But this time I got through and I, w- I had like a five minute wait time before my tickets were gone. So I I, fran- I typed in my information so fast. I spelled my email wrong. <laughs> so I didn't get like a confirmation email or whatever. And I had to go fix it. I'm like, son of a bitch. But I got two tickets. <laughs> so- I 
was scream. I was screaming like I was like watching Elvis on Ed Sullivan or something. Scared the cats. I okay. was. It's ten <laughs> o'clock in the morning, mind you. I'm yeah. screaming like it's the middle of the day. Yeah. I'm like, holy fuck! I was like dying, and. I wish, and that's the thing that sucked. Like, we probably could have gotten four that day if it wasn't for the fucking scalpers, because then yeah. they limited the amount of tickets you could get to deter them. Yeah, because we were trying to get four tickets. And it was stupid. Yeah. So, I, but well, Lauren got our tickets, mm-hmm. and I was inconsolable for about 10 minutes. Yeah. I was like, I can't fucking believe it. I'm going to see Mr. Bungle. I listened, I listened to Mr. Bungle, like, every other day i want to say yeah, you listen to them more than me but i have listened to them a lot yeah i it's because you're more of a mike Patton fan not that i don't like him it's just i i prioritize other people over mike Patton, like devin townsend <sighs> yeah 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 oh yeah i do <laughs> i was screaming and i felt so bad because i like literally all my other friends that i knew that wanted to oh yeah could not get through. just nothing still but mm-hmm. lauren by the grace of God, by the patent God, I don't know what happened. I, it was the crystals. Yeah. It was my clear quartz and selenite. <laughs> they came through. Thank you. Hold on. Thank you, selenite. Special <laughs> guest. <laughs> She's just sitting here. Yeah. I was screaming. I, that's like that. I haven't been that happy in years. I know. I think the last time I was that happy is when I got Faith of War tickets. <laughs> In 2015. Yeah, I was so happy. I know, so. we had to buy those tickets from Scalpers. That was fucking... We're going to get into that in like a few minutes. Yeah. But maybe that we'll do that the second half. Okay. So, that happened. Yeah. And we were just screaming. Like, I was so excited. I did cartwheels. I don't even know how to cartwheel. Megan was like operatically singing. Oh, yeah. I was singing everything that came out like to my head. I didn't <laughs> even care. I was so happy. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm, so we got two tickets. So we're going to see Mr. Bungle. And this is in February, by yeah. the way. February 10th. Yeah, it's a Monday in Brooklyn in the middle of winter. In a hipstery part of Brooklyn. Yeah. But whatever. I mean, I just, I know I was talking about it. I'm like, I hope it doesn't snow. I hope it doesn't. And it's like, why am I jinxing myself? I know. Because if that does happen after all of this, because that, okay. So that the last part of this was yesterday. Yeah. When they officially went on sale. So, because we want to go with our friend Nick, who's been on the show. Hi, Nick. Hi. Um, and because he's a, you know, he's a big Bungle fan, he's too. He's the one who got me into Mr. Bungle. Yeah. So, so I'm like, we have, and we want to go with him. It's like, it's, I mean, Laura and I could have gone ourselves, but we're like, but you know what? It's a new place that I've never been to before. And I don't want to go without a male figure because... And let me tell you, Megan and I have been to shows by ourselves before, too. And it's like every creep in the place just lurches. Like, they know. Yeah. You know what I mean? Especially that show. God only knows what kind of people are going like, to be. Like, I'm not comfortable. <laughs> yeah. So, I'm you like, know? I need a male with me. So That and it just won't be fun without him. I know. So, I was like, we're going to try and get you tickets. And I was going to get one for uh, my friend Troy, too, because... He was, you know, I think he took yeah. off of work, actually. But, like, I, he told me he had to work. So I was like, well, I'll do it for you. It's no big deal. But come Friday, which yeah. is yesterday, we're recording oh, this on Saturday. Oh, and Nick was trying to get a ticket for his girlfriend, Taylor, yes. too. So we were planning on getting five tickets. That's yeah. why I needed to be there. We only got two. <laughs> so, so here's what happened. So yesterday, I'm up at the crack of dawn again. I'm fucking so tired. I'm dragging ass today, by the way. Like, mm-hmm. it was my day to sleep in, and I couldn't even sleep in. Because, well, d- I don't know if you... Quick side note. Did you hear the neighbors yesterday? They didn't wake you up at all? No. Bumping reggae at two in the morning. Are you serious? Yeah, I literally... It woke me up. Ugh. I... They're I, fucking old. Why are they listening to reggae? Who the f- I don't know if it was these people, but maybe it was the people behind them. Oh. You know what I'm talking about? That yeah. live over here? Not that oh, you know. that but. probably wasn't reggae. They play, like, Mexican techno. It's, like, I, really weird. It sounded like reggae. Did it? Yeah. Oh, maybe it was. It was not it's techno. It's usually Mexican techno. It was slower, but, like, the bass of it was, like, boom, boom. Like, it was banging down to the side of my head. Ugh. Like, someone was just beating me with a bat. Yeah. And I'm like, it's two in the morning. And it stopped finally at, like, three. <laughs> Great. And I was like, are you 
fucking kidding? Because then I heard co- I was going to call the cops myself, but then I heard cops show up. So yeah. someone else beat me to it. Yeah. And I was like, are you fucking kidding me? Those people are ridiculous. So I, me. yeah. So I did technically go to bed until like 3 a.m. Yeah. I was so angry. So, you know, I'm fucking tired from three days of waking up at the crack of dawn to get these godforsaken tickets. So then Friday, which is yesterday, same thing, have every device open, praying to every god of every religion that mm-hmm. we get these. Literally nothing. Yeah. Same thing. It's the same thing as Wednesday. Like, yeah. in a split second, they were all gone. All of them. We couldn't, like, we were in the longest line. Yeah. To, like, get these tickets. We, neither of us got through. Yeah. Nothing. Nick didn't get through. No one got through. Yeah. No one. Well, some people did, obviously, but. Well, yeah, but. Because. I'm trying to remember what we paid for ours. So, I guess the ticket price, um, like, just the original price was 45 to $65. Yeah. I don't know why, because it's all general admission. I don't know why 65 I don't know either. But, um, yeah, so we ended up paying for two tickets, $114 with all the fees and everything, mm-hmm. which isn't bad. Yeah. I mean, it's a lot, but it's, I mean... But it was a $45 show. Yeah. So you kind of expect it. Yeah, so it was going to be a little expensive anyway. So what we ended up doing against our better judgment was getting a ticket for Nick through StubHub Mm -hmm. (laughs) because I'm like, okay, we can afford one more and he has to go. So the one ticket with the fees and everything, which is hilarious because they're already stealing tickets and then they're charging fees on top of it. Oh, like and a, there were double the fees we had to pay, by like the way. Like a bunch of fucking cunts. $224 for one ticket. I'm like, this is absurd. It's an outrage. Yeah. You know, like that people could get away with this shit. So we got one for Nick. <laughs> like, I can't even imagine people trying to buy tickets for the Super Bowl. How fucking expensive those tickets are. I, well, that's why, like, if you see... Well, we should save this for the second half. Oh, yeah. Like, even still, like, when I wanted to go see Kiss back in March or whatever, when they were doing their final tour, $800 for a normal ticket. Yeah. Like, it's insane. Uh, how are we on time? 22 minutes. Okay, so... We won't do the thing like that we've been doing. Yeah. And we'll just t- talk the first half off and then the second half we're like, eh, fuck it. We're so, going to split this up because we have a lot to say. Yeah. So we're going to go to a break. Um, I'm going to put in Moonblood. I don't know what song yet, but I have been listening to them quite a bit lately and it's hard to pick one song. Yeah. <laughs> They're all good. I don't know which one to put in. It's like choosing your favorite child. I know, but, um, yeah, just kind of keeping within the, the realm of black metal and shit. Cause yeah. like I said, in the summertime, for some reason, it's all I want to fucking listen to black metal and like pagan altar. <laughs> yeah. Cause I swear to God, Lauren, if I could inject that band directly into my veins, you I would. would, I would do it. Mm-hmm. Yep. They're just that fucking good. <laughs> and they're playing a show on tomorrow. In, like, Brooklyn or something. My God. Oh, man. I just thought of that. I won't be able to go, but... Yeah. Man, I would really love to go to that. So, I'm going to put in some moon blood. I know we've been talking about Mr. Bungle. It's going to be a... It's going to be a change of pace. Yeah. But they're going in here. I... Depending on how long the second half is, I always say this. I might put in the whole song. I might not. <laughs> Who knows? One day I'm just going to put in an entire discography from someone. It's going to be a 17 hour episode. (laughs) Everyone's going to be like, what the fuck are they talking about for 17 hours? And it's just like fucking Baker Street on repeat for like 12 hours. Oh my God. (laughs) I would literally give someone a thousand dollars to listen to that entire episode. Yeah. If I if we end up putting up an episode that's 17 hours long and it's nothing but Baker Street <laughs> on repeat and you listen from start to finish the entire thing, I will give you a thousand dollars. Yep. No joke. <laughs> Are you putting that in writing? 
No, not okay. yet, because I don't have $1,000 to just drop on that. One day. I also don't want to edit a 17-hour episode. <laughs> Man, it's hard enough just to do, like, an hour and a half, never mind 17. Yeah, like, how do people put up those 24-hour, you know, videos of, on YouTube of, like, I, the same song? I don't like, Neon know. Cat for 24 hours. Like, Ugh. what the fuck? That's a throwback. How in the fuck does anyone listen to those? Or like 10 hours of What is Love? What is love? Yeah, we did that. Baby we made it to nine minutes and 54, nine hours and 54 minutes. I don't even know how we did that. But yeah. I'm like, if I listen to this over time, I'm going to mentally break. We did. <laughs> we were so close, but we could not do it. I know. I love that song now. But anyway, I'm going to put it. We're not going to torture you with that. No. Um, I'll put in, uh, I'll put in Moonblood. And when we come back, we're going to talk about scalpers and fucking people that steal. Because I also want to talk about something within the realm of this. About people that buy things that go on sale, like, right away. Like, when the NES Classic came out. Yes. And then resell oh my God. those. I have so much to say. Yeah, because we've seen a lot of this, too, happen. Yeah. So, we're going to get into that when we come back. Enjoy some, uh, just some black metal for, you know... For your for your ears yeah <laughs> i don't know i'm so fucking tired i'm surprised i'm even sitting up straight right I know. now well you wanted to do this today so well because i didn't want to do it tomorrow <laughs> i know true me either but well that and i didn't want to sit on this either yeah so i wanted true. to get this out of me while it's still like fresh fresh so we don't want it to spoil yeah <laughs> like a salmon ew <laughs> who says salmon i don't know i was just being silly well, we're going to go to a break. All right. <laughs> we will be right back. We'll be right back. everyone welcome back hope you enjoyed that music yeah <laughs> you know the good kind yeah the delicious sexual music that has graced your ears we don't know how to talk about things we, <laughs> we literally do not <laughs> it's like <laughs> what like how do we it's like hope you well it's hard to say something like without sounding like a like a radio announcer. We hope you enjoyed that song from <laughs> Moonblood called Blah, whatever I put in. I don't even know what song it is. Called yeah. Frolicking Through Anus. I don't know. If they had a song <laughs> called Frolicking <laughs> Through Anus. That's I, a grind song, dude. Yeah, I was gonna say it sounds more like an anal cunt song. Frolicking Anus. Frolicking Anus. <laughs> Those are two words that should never be put it's next to like each other. A- it's like a butthole with legs that's just skipping through a field. Oh, like Anne Heche's butthole? And hey, she's butthole. For anyone that's never listened to Hollywood Babylon with Kevin Smith and Ralph Garman, 
go back to the earlier episodes and listen to that song. Well, I'm going to put it in right here. It's only like 10 seconds or something. Yeah. I'm putting it in right here. Okay. So hold on a second. Let's all go inside. Anyway, so back to what we were talking about. Yep. Um, I... It's one of my biggest pet peeves in the world, which is why the last few days have been so frustrating for me. Mm-hmm. I fucking hate people who buy things in bulk and then resell them. Mm-hmm. I hate it. Hate it. It's not fair. It's horrible because we saw... Well, we touched about this on another episode, too, with all the Portal stuff that... Yes. Because people go in on Think Geek, which is where they sell it. Yeah. And they go in, they fucking buy it in bulk, and then they resell it for, like, hundreds of dollars when it was cost, like, 20 bucks to begin with. With the, well, depending on the thing. Yeah. The Portal Gun was not, but... I, how much was the Portal Gun originally? Like, $1,000. No, no. I mean, f- through ThinkGeek. If you got it through Yeah, Think it Geek. was $1,000. Are you serious? hmm It the was... Wo- the ones on eBay were cheaper. You're kidding. I thought it was cheaper on ThinkGeek. No. It was like a thousand. Let me check. I I believe it was. $1, I don't $1, believe dollars. it was that much. Because uh, usually the way it works is that someone will buy something for cheap and then sell it for a fuck ton to make a profit. So. Let's see. Well, I guess uh, I'll put in more Bob Ross music. Sorry, Bob Ross is gonna get his fucking shine on today. Um. Oh, and the mini one was $60. Where's the big one? <laughs> well, I hope everybody likes Bob Ross. Oh, it was $100. That's what I was saying. Sorry, I meant 100 not 1000 <laughs> I was like, Lord, nobody would have bought it if it was $1,000. It was, well, the one, the first one I had with the Atlas and Peabody things, that was $100. Yeah. But I think the first, first one they did was a little more expensive than that. Yeah. So. Because I have both of them. Well, hold on. I have to get comfortable. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um. Well, either way, what did I pay for yours? Well, the second time, like $600. Yeah. So originally $100 resold for $600. Mm-hmm. I hate it (laughs) i know like why are people like this like it's gross like it shouldn't be allowed it is gross you know like well okay in their defense they only had one but i saw like another listing where they had like multiples because they went on and like bought like yeah multiple portal guns like it's it's gross no people set it all up to buy all the fucking shit it's disgusting it's horrible and i don't think think geek does like a limit either um, no, they probably do like two per order. Yeah. But yeah, I'm sure. I don't, I Especially don't know. if it's limited, you have to do like, well, true, true. You know, well, cause that's why, um, like a lot of makeup companies now do it because they've, Jeffrey they've, does it. They have a big problem with getting stuff resold. If anything, the makeup world is like the worst culprits for this There's kind of thing. There's a whole market now of just like pe- stolen. Yeah. It's stolen. Like people try to recreate like palettes and like stuff like that and foundations and try and like do the exact same labeling but it's a completely different product and it's from like china and shit and it's not good for you and they sell like on a black market for like cheap or whatever yeah but then there's also people who are friends with people who you know work in warehouses like makeup warehouses who buy stuff in bulk and then sell it through facebook marketplace yeah that's what happened to jeffrey star's fucking concealer yep it was one shade that got sold. And it was the shade that I would have gotten because it yeah. matches my skin Yeah, color. it was our shade. <laughs> yeah, it was literally my shade, of course. And um, it's just, it's fucking ridiculous. Yeah, it is. And people are dumb enough to go and buy from these people because, oh, I'll have it early. Yeah. Like, it's so unethical. It's so gross to me, you know, that people are willing. Because I don't like, oh, sorry. I didn't That's mean okay. to just kick you. It's okay. I, um... I have a, I'm a, 
I hate when people steal, basically. Because I've had my artwork stolen from me before. I've had my actual possessions stolen from me before. Same. You know? Yeah. Like, people have stolen a lot of my shit. Like, all of my favorite CDs were gone one day because I had a stupid fucking ex-boyfriend that just wanted to piss me off. And he fucking just took all my CDs. And, like, it took me forever to get those things back. And I still need a couple of them. Like, it's fucked up. It, that was how many years ago? I know. Like, it's it's horrible how people just feel like they're entitled to just take things and resell them or just what, whatever the fuck they do with them. I don't know. Yeah. You know? Like, I just... I, it makes me crazy, you know? That people just can't be fair and, like, do things the right way. Mm-hmm. Or just not be a fucking asshole. <laughs> I know. Like, how hard, you know? It's like I've had <clears throat> someone stole my iPod when I was in high school. Mm-hmm. Fucking oh, exes have stolen my clothes. Yeah, and just yeah, a lot of my shit got stolen. Friends would quote unquote borrow things, and then suddenly they couldn't find them. Yeah, I have like books that I've given away that I just or I've given people to borrow, and yeah. I never got them back, and I had to rebuy them. Mm-hmm. It's horrible. Um, like after uh. Um, I think it was, yeah, it was after Chris passed away. I bought a, I, I was recommended a book by my therapist and yeah, I'm going to whatever. I had to go see a therapist for a while and I went and I bought it and it was great. It was really helpful and it, like, you know, helped me exactly how I needed to be helped. And then I gave it to someone cause they were going through like a similar thing. Oh, I didn't give it to them. I let them borrow it and they just kept it. They never gave it back. Like, why do, why are people like this? I know. Like, I hate that shit, you know? And so this is, these are all the emotions I'm feeling yesterday while I'm trying to get these fucking bungle tickets. Like someone's stealing from me again. Yeah. Because they are. And then we checked how many minutes later on fucking StubHub. If there was 20 listings. Yeah. There was like a million tickets for sale. Or like, no, sale. 200 tickets for sale. Yeah. That's how many tickets these people got. Like, I don't know what the capacity of, um... The show that um, in Brooklyn's at the Brooklyn Steel, it's called. Can do you want me to look it up while you're, yeah. you're talking? I don't know what the capacity is for that place, but to take two hundred tickets, I'm gonna say it holds at least, I don't know, probably six hundred or seven hundred people, maybe a little bit more than that. It's not really a big area, but to take, like literally, how much? Eighteen hundred. Really? Yeah. Okay, so so let me let me do a little math here. Yeah. Let's get a percentage. 200 is what percent of 1,800? So, I can't believe how many people. Hold on. I can figure this out. Yeah, you figure it out because um, I know how to math. Yeah, I, I'm so tired today, I can't even think right now. I want to say that's about a good... Uh, that's like a ninth of the... Oh, like 11%. Yeah. It was literally all ones. It was like 11 point 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's what it was. <laughs> so 11 and change. 11% of the tickets. 200 tickets. That we know of. And that's just on StubHub. Yeah. I don't even know what other website. Hold on. Can we do some research yeah. live here? So I'm going to go look. And this and is just for the Brooklyn show. This yeah. isn't for the California show. I don't know. And I'm sure they're dealing with the same fucking horse shit over there. Yeah. Okay, let's see. So, I don't even know what other scalper websites there are. Um, I don't know either. There was one I saw yesterday called Secure Box Office. So, let me see what's on there. And I don't know if there's going to be much left because I'm sure people are, you know, taking them. Well, oh, and by the way, I forgot to add this. We were going to purchase the ticket from StubHub, and as we were checking out, someone already bought the ticket we had. Yeah. So we had to go back and do it again. It was ridiculous. Yeah, it's horrible. Um, let's see. This is LA, LA, Brooklyn. Okay, so we'll do, because we got one for the February 10th show. Yeah. Oh, by the way, they added three more dates to the same cities and same venues. So it's two days in the same place. So February 10th and 11th, it's in Brooklyn. Someone's selling them for ten ninety one each. What? A thousand dollars? A thousand dollars. That's three tickets each. Well, the cheapest one was two forty seven each. Oh my god. 
247. Look at all these listings, by the way. Look at all of them. Oh, my God. Hold on. Let me do a quick count. This is 24 hours later from when we looked yesterday. 11. And these are three tickets each. So that's 33 tickets just on this website alone. Wow. That doesn't even count StubHub. And then StubHub probably has, like, you know, even more now. I don't even know. No, I don't even care how much they fucking have. It's, it's it's just an astronomical amount of tickets to take away from a place that holds 1,800 people. 1,800. That's like... Because what's half of 1,800? 900. Yeah. So... Yeah. it's I would say about at least a quarter of them. Mm-hmm. And then I don't know what happened to the rest. I Because I'm looking... I, I joined a Facebook group today because it was made by a page called Faith No More Followers that I... I follow on mm-hmm. uh, Facebook and it's called Mr. Bungleheads. <laughs> yeah. And it was specifically for these shows coming up, basically, for people that were like, for whatever reason, giving away tickets, trying to find t- like meeting up, like whatever, just to talk about these shows coming up because I guess their page got flooded with all that shit and they're yeah. like, we're putting this somewhere else because it's not Faith No More related. Right. It is, but it isn't. Mm-hmm. So I joined this group. I'm going to I'm gonna peruse the comments a little bit. Yeah. There's people coming in from the UK. Yeah, from for this. Europe and probably Asia too. And probably South America. Just all over the place yeah. trying to come to this show. Not even, not even just in Brooklyn, but to the other two in California. Yeah, it's insane. So, I mean, I can understand why the tickets went so fast, but at the same time, how do these scalpers always get fucking through? I don't know what kind of system they have in place to just jump the line from people. Oh, I know. It's but. crazy. By the way, I was reading more about the website that they were using for their tickets. Yeah. And apparently, you know how Ticketmaster does it where it's like you have a place in line and it gives you the tickets by sequential order yeah this place apparently just has a whole lobby full of people and it just picks people at random so if you randomly get chosen to get tickets the well then you're like you luck. did yeah like the one in a million chance that i got to get tickets then i mean that is just asinine well that's what i was reading a couple comments in the event page we're saying yeah it's okay let me see Yeah, like someone got tickets. No one has tickets here. Uh, so oh, in the event page, there was a scalper trying to sell tickets. It oh, was fucking hysterical. They got fucking chewed the fuck up. Yeah. It like, was- oh, I bought a ticket and now I can't go. Does someone want it? It's like, fuck. How do you know that far ahead that you can't go? Yeah, I know. You know what I mean? It's August, motherfucker. Like, you did it on purpose. Yeah. Like, you're not smart. They're fucking horrible. People are posting screenshots. Oh, my God. For two tickets, somebody spent $735. My God. Like, that was a good whistle. (laughs) (laughs) I didn't even have to add that in. I know. That was me. That was actually me. (laughs) Yeah. Some, like, some people managed to get tickets. Other people were, like, still trying, still trying. Uh, yeah. It's, it's crazy. Like, yeah. It's kind of like half and half right now. So, I guess a lot of people did manage to get through. I, I saw a lot for the San Francisco show. Mm-hmm. Yeah, for the Brooklyn show, we just got fucked. Yeah. Man. I don't know what it is about Brooklyn Steel, but... This Jeez. place better be fucking worth... This better be fucking worth it. I know. This is what I'm thinking, like... Because it's not the original lineup for Bungle. Yeah. It's in February, because apparently they don't own a fucking calendar and fucking... On the West Coast, they they don't realize the like the West hey, Coast doesn't understand weather. Yeah, well, at least Southern California, like they don't understand how weather is. Yeah, <laughs> like hello, it might fucking we might not, but who knows? That's the thing, we don't know. It yeah. would have been better if it was in March or April. No, we're gonna February mm-hmm. in the dead of winter in Brooklyn. It's just like this better be fucking worth it. <laughs> yeah. Because I love Mr. Bungle so much, I would have gone to literally Antarctica to see them. I know. <laughs> like, oh, man. It's just, this whole situation sucked. It sucked. For so many people. Yeah, and, like, 
Especially because it went on for three days. Yeah. That's like three days of people's like people work. Like we don't have time to sit there and wonder and be like, oh, are we going to get fucking tickets? Like the way this was done was so poor. Yeah. And the venue itself has been getting flooded with complaints on the event page. Yeah. Oh, my God. Like they said their system is so gross, even though it's not technically their system because it was the same website for all the shows, even the ones in California. Yeah. So, um, it's, I don't think it's the venue's fault. Yeah. You know, but people are fucking ripping into them anyway. Yeah. And you know what? The venue might have like physical copies of tickets yeah. at their box office too. So that takes away a good chunk of yeah. the amount of tickets they could sell online. If you want to take a trip to Brooklyn and get some tickets. Yeah. You know, honestly, it's the easiest way to get a ticket to a show is just to go to the box office of the venue. But it's also the least convenient way to get yeah. it. Yeah. Unless you live within 15 minutes of the venue you're going to. It's just like, why? Well, we would do it um, when we used to go to shows there at the Webster in Hartford. Yeah. It was so much because it it's like really close to us. Yeah. So we would just literally like if we wanted to go see something, well, we'd have our dad go and pick them up because he worked like five minutes from there. Yeah. He did so. not work too far from the Webster. So. We'd be like, oh, if we give you money, can you just go pick up tickets? And then that we'd have them and it'd be fine. Yeah. But things like this. And now what I'm worried about the most is because these tickets are purely electronic and you need your phone. Yeah. For them. I'm praying to every God that there's no technical problems and we can actually get in. I know. So because you didn't get the option to print them. No. Unless if I wanted to pay an extra $15. We should have just done it. Well, even still, it wouldn't have showed up until the day before the show. Well, that's with everyone, because the ticket I got for Nick, too, same fucking thing. Yeah. So. It's still stupid. I know. But, you know, what can you do? It's just, this is just, I hate this. I know. This is why I don't really go to, like, big shows. Like, the shows that I've considered going to, like, recently, and I haven't, I just haven't gone. Like, they're, like, shows that are, like, you show up. And you're in a bar and it's like five bucks and you just pay at the door and you're like, all right. Yeah. Or pay nothing. Usually a lot of times they're free, you know? So it's just like things like this are really stressful for you and me. Yeah. Because it's like, you know, my fear is like, what if I get all the way there and then I can't even fucking get in? Yeah, because it's, well, I can't even imagine people who are coming from the UK or Europe to come to this show and they travel all the way to the US and they can't even get it. Ugh. That would suck. Yeah. For us, it's a two hour drive. Yeah. But fine. for them, it's like a seven hour flight from a different country and they have to adapt to a new time zone. Yeah. In the middle of the winter. Which sucks. Yeah. Well, it's, it's not horrible if you're going to California, but. Yeah. You know, it still sucks. I know. It just, ugh, I hate it. It's gonna be chaos, dude. Eighteen hundred people packed into that place. Yeah, it's gonna be fucking nuts. And I'm sure it's probably gonna be probably well over two thousand people there. Yeah, just because of, you know, people trying to get in, people scoping out the area, probably, and yeah. whatever. It's gonna be over two thousand people in that fucking general vicinity. Yeah, it's gonna be insane. Yeah. But, I mean, I'm still looking forward to it because I don't give a fuck. Like, I want to see this so bad. I know. So bad. It's going to be great. I'm going to cry. I swear to God, if we go and the only dude that's seven feet tall stands directly in front of me, he's getting kicked in the balls and I am moving. Yeah. (laughs) Because every single... Okay. I'm almost six feet tall. And when I say... Every single time I go to a show, the tallest person stands in front of me. I am not joking. Yeah. It's always someone who towers over me standing directly in front of me every single time. It's horrendous. It's going to be people from all over the goddamn place. Yeah. So I can only imagine. Oh, it's going to be a shit show, but it's going to be a, a but great shit show. It's also 16 plus. So it's not going to be a bunch of fucking stupid teenagers and everything there. So. Yeah. Maybe a couple. Yeah. But probably some. But yeah. I highly doubt 
people that young, a lot of people that young. Do they even know who Mr. Bungle is? That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm trying to think. I mean, maybe. I can't speak for everyone. But I will say, when we saw Faith No More, it was a really good crowd. Especially because we saw them in Boston. And Boston's usually pretty rambunctious. Yeah. But it was a really mellow and nice crowd. True. So. I know. The Patton fans are not as, uh... They're not crazy. They're not. It might be the Scott Ian and Dave Lombardo fans Mm. that'll be fucking... Why Scott Ian of all the people in the world, though? I don't know. I don't. I don't think he's that great. <laughs> <laughs> Can I just say? I'm sorry. Dude, like I remember him from I love the fucking 80s and 90s. Yeah, I know. Shows on VH1. <laughs> like I know people like Anthrax. Uh, they were never really like my favorite. I never really gave that much of a shit. I'll listen yeah. to them. You know. Yeah. They're not like I saw them live. When oh I saw yeah, the Big Four. It was pretty good. But like. You know, I'm not like Jones in to put them. It's not like fucking Iron Maiden where it's like I need this in my system immediately. Mm-hmm. But you know, I just, I just wish they had done it with the original members. Had that happened, oh, we would have had way worse of a time trying to get tickets. Oh, and who knows? Maybe they'll make an appearance. I don't know. I don't even say that. <laughs> I will actually... I might come. Like, I'll be so excited. Megan, please. I'm sorry. Our father listens to this podcast. Dad, don't listen to that. (laughs) (laughs) Do you want me to just censor it? (laughs) No, you don't have to. Yeah, dude. I'm censoring. I mean, I might come anyway. But, you know, it's just like... Anyway. I... I I never thought in my... Well, here's the thing. This is why people are going so nuts. Because I never thought in my lifetime I would have a chance to even see part of Mr. Bungle. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Oh, fuck. Fucking hitting the mic and shit. Sorry. For anyone who's wondering why I always, like, hit the mic and shit, it's because I talk with my hands. So. We're very Italian. Sorry about that. But, um, like, this is my chance to fucking see them in some capacity. It's better than nothing. Yeah. I'll say that much, you know? Even though I don't know if they're going to be playing my shit like the girls of porn or whatever. Ugh. But I would love that. Ugh, I would. I would probably hit the deck. I would go into cardiac arrest. You would have to resuscitate me. It would be bad. Yeah, I would be in the middle of Brooklyn, and I wouldn't know what to do. I'd be <laughs> like, uh, uh, I need help. <laughs> Just <laughs> punching my chest, trying to get me to wake up. Just blowing your face. <laughs> 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 Just man, slap you around like in you know, fucking movies. Just yeah. <laughs> Like the three stooges. Yeah. You idiot. You know. <laughs> but, um, yeah. So I'm, I mean, I'm excited about it, but I fucking hate this part of it. Like the scalping and the shit and the fucking. And it's all people who just have nothing better to do with their time. Yeah. Literally nothing better to do. Yeah. It's they like, don't even know who the band is. They just know it's a high demand show and they're just going to get all the tickets yeah. And it, like, it means nothing to them. Well, this is what I was saying before about, you know, um, like people that go on like, okay, so the NAS Classic came out a while ago. Yeah. And there was literally a guy I followed on Instagram who had 40 of them and was like, oh, plan on reselling these soon. 40. There were some people who stood in line at the store and didn't even get any. Yeah. This motherfucker had 40. And I literally, I messaged him. I'm like, you're a fucking cocksucker. And I just blocked him. I'm like, you're disgusting if you're this kind of person. Yeah. You know, because not only are you robbing people of their chance of something that they want, but you're also just doing it purely for monetary purposes. Yeah. And that's greed. And that's dis- it's like my worst thing. in people. like, if you're a greedy person, I literally can't even be around you. Yeah. It's just so slimy to me and gross. Me too. I can't. So and I if you're one of these people, fuck you. <laughs> Don't listen to my podcast. Yeah. Go Don't away. listen to my podcast. Go fuck yourself with all your 40 NES consoles. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> we appreciate your cooperation. Mm. <laughs> we appreciate you cooperating and fucking off. Yes. Anyway. <laughs> well. Sorry. That got heated. I know. I fucking, this stuff really bothers me. You know what well, I mean? Well, it's because you and I have been going to concerts for decades now Mm -hmm. like since we were in high school Mm -hmm. earlier than that but yes well i mean regularly yeah since high school we went to a few before that but um 
So we've seen it firsthand because we've been to a ton of local shows. We've also been to a ton of bigger shows like festivals, like Mayhem Festival when it was a thing. And yeah, like, we went to OzFest. And OzFest and just like all that stuff. So we've been on every end of the spectrum when it comes to tickets. We've been to shows where there was five other people in the crowd besides the bands. And then we've been to shows that were so packed we almost died from yeah. being squished to death. I had crowd. a panic attack from being claustrophobic. Yeah. <laughs> so it's just like it it sucks. It sucks when you get stuck in a situation where you want to see a band or you want a thing so bad, but someone just takes them all and you basically have to pay your way to get what you want. It's and horrible. It's, and it doesn't go directly to the people you want to support. It goes directly to this fucking schmuck who has yeah. like 40 of them. Yeah, it's not fair. It's not ethical. There's nothing good about it. Nobody, the only person benefiting is the person who's pocketing this goddamn money and they're fucking slime balls. Yeah. So I hate it. I hate this shit. I do too. You know, and we, that's why we want to talk about it today because this has been our our week this week yeah it's been a week i'm so tired i'm literally probably gonna go to bed at like five o'clock i know <laughs> like, well it's three uh, like quarter after three right now well, so i'm going to bed at five o'clock is it really quarter after three well, almost i'm surprised frost hasn't broken down the door yet oh uh, he will in a few minutes so okay. we should probably go <laughs> yeah um, this is a l shorter episode but this is literally all we want to talk about yeah so why how are we on time almost half an hour oh really yeah Okay, well, is that long be, enough for an episode? Yeah, it's going to be a shorter episode. I okay. don't care. <laughs> I know, we, we're so used to recording, like, long oh, fucking shit. Teaser, by the way. Next episode, we should have a guest on. Ooh, yes. So, I have to make sure that things will align, because we tried for four days in a row, and it just did not work out. Yeah. Because this week was crazy, so <sighs> hoping to record that in the next couple days or so, if... He's feeling better. Yeah. So. You could probably already tell who it is. Yeah. But if you don't, just wait till the next episode. Yeah. And we should have one with the guest. If we don't, then... Oh, well. <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll come back with something somewhat riveting. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm going to put in Wednesday 13 because I love Wednesday 13. That's good, it. good answer. <laughs> <laughs> Lauren said that like she was about to like give some well you look like you're about to give like some big long-winded speech and you were like i i just i love wednesday 13. i love him can i just tell you sure really quick this is totally random but i just want to interject this really quick mm -hmm. i had like last night when i was half asleep before i got woken up by the neighbors i was i was laying there and i was just thinking about like um i don't know if i mentioned this on the podcast i'm gonna be drawing a beetlejuice tarot deck <laughs> oh yeah so and it's not gonna be meant for serious use it's just gonna be like a novelty thing yeah i don't i don't, I don't think i'm gonna include like a book with it or anything with like meanings or anything it's gonna be based off the classic writer uh deck so if you want to interpret the meanings just use the writer meetings i would say right. if you wanted to use it seriously you could because i'm gonna base it off of like the high priestess the the hermit the hermit the all the classic cards but the suits will be different so instead of you know pentacles it'll be like sandworms or something yeah and uh i'm still working out the king there's a lot it's 78 cards it's gonna take me a while to do mm -hmm. so it's not gonna be something immediate um yeah so i'm i'm excited to do the tarot deck though it's gonna be like yeah it's gonna be cool like i'm gonna i'm gonna incorporate things from both the movie and the the cartoon yeah so because it's a lot of cards i'm like i can take from both right so and i've been kind of figuring it out so well we're gonna end the blah, 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 blah. we're gonna end the episode there <laughs> what the fuck was that i was tongue-tied oh <laughs> sorry well thanks for cutting me off but oh i i thought you were done no but that's fine we, we can end the episode oh well <laughs> thanks lauren <laughs> sorry so yeah, uh, Beetlejuice tarot deck coming soon. I'll I'll talk about it more once it gets more like done, because I haven't even drawn like a thing yet for it. Yeah, I'm still conceptualizing everything. So exciting though. Yeah. And if anybody fucking wants one, I might start like a GoFundMe or something, or like a ki or a Kickstarter. I'm sorry, not a GoFundMe. And just like if people want one, send me some cash. I'll give you one. Okay. so i can print them so because they're gonna cost a lot to make so i clean the house like 
do I just get one? Yeah, I guess. (laughs) (laughs) I'm kidding. I'm kidding. But, um, yeah, so it's just a fun thing that I'm doing. Mm -hmm. So, yay. Yay. Uh, but with that being said, we'll put in, uh, some Wednesday 13. Thanks for letting us get that off our chest. Yeah, I feel better. I do too, because literally we've been dealing with this for fucking day. It's not even just like one day. It's been multiple days. Yeah, it's ridiculous. Like it's actually awful. So, um, all right. Thanks for joining us. And next week we might have a guest. We might not. Yes. Question mark. I think we will though. I think so. Yeah. So, (laughs) yes. Okay. Awesome. Wonderful. Awesome. Great. We don't know how to do things. I know. I'm so done. My, I'm so tired. I'm literally probably going to just lay down on the table after we stop recording. Please don't. Just spread out. I won't be able to. I don't. I won't fit on this table. It's too small. Well. Well, we're going to get going. Yes. <laughs> All right, everyone. We'll see you next week. Bye. Bye.